How's it going everyone? So as promised, let's go ahead and check out the all new Apple CarPlay, a part of iOS 26. So the differences between the previous video and this one, in case you missed it, is we have a larger display because we are indeed inside a G-Wagon, which gives us the ability to check out more widget controls. As you see right here, we actually have two widgets, including the weather. So a quick recap in case you missed my previous video, I'm gonna go ahead and include timestamps in the description down below. When it comes to compatible devices, you are required to have an iPhone that can support iOS 26. As Apple drops support for the iPhone 10s as well as the 10s Max, but so long as you have an iPhone 11 or newer, you're perfectly fine. Your device will be compatible for this future firmware update. In addition to that, as time making this video, we are currently on beta one on the developer beta, which is available to all developer accounts, but the public beta will be released sometime in July. And then the official release for this OS will be sometime during the fall time. It's typically around the launch of the new iPhones. So let's start off with one of the most standout features and that is obviously widgets. So you see right here, you still have your traditional like app library and you can add as many apps as you want so long as they're compatible with CarPlay. But if we go to this home page here, it actually does support live activities. It's gonna pop up right here as like a little third column. But since we don't have an active activity right now, we don't have anything there. But this next one is where you see useful widgets. And I wouldn't be surprised if later on down the line, Apple makes it available for third party developers to also integrate their widgets here. But here we have a traditional clock, a calendar, uh, calendar information, media that's playing, as well as the clock. Long holding, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it does anything. But on the other side, you have opposite things too. So right here, I have access to my smart home appliances as well as accessories like my smart locks or, or lights, even TV. I even have my reminders right here as I'm driving, I could check mark certain things. And of course we have the weather. And when we're inside a gorgeous vehicle like this, CarPlay definitely does blend in. Now, no, this is not Apple CarPlay Ultra, but this comes pretty close blending in, in the, inside the interior of this vehicle. But now let's get out of here and let's go ahead and go over Apple Maps. Just small tweaks here and there in terms of its UI systems. You still have the double tap ability to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, unfortunately, we still don't have like multi-point pinch and zoom, unfortunately. But what we did receive is a new alert right here. There are these current uh, like alerts, indicators you can report. On the iPhone side of things, you have additional ones, so I wouldn't be surprised if these later on get added on Apple CarPlay. But let's exit out of here and now go over the new customization tools we have. You see, by going into the settings and then you go down to wallpaper, we did receive a new wallpaper. Unfortunately, one of the older ones that Apple removed doesn't look like it's re-added, unfortunately, but we do have two black ones for some weird reason, which looks great if you have an OLED display in your car, but no ability to like import like your personal ones, as an example. But exiting out of there, in the appearance tab, this is where you can go in and actually customize your icons finally. So you can select between the default ones, which feature that liquid glass design, which was why it kind of looks blurry. But now you can finally select dark and you can also select light mode or always dark. But in the clear, this is a new one too. And not only is it translucent, but you can also select between darker versions or leave it on auto and it will just adjust during the day. Dark doesn't look that bad, to be honest. And once you're satisfied, just back tap, and there you go. I think I accidentally hit the uh, clear. I did, there we go. Which also affects this side toolbar. Which by the way, since we're talking about the toolbar, the toolbar also has been revamped a bit as the edges are much more rounder and curvier than previously. Now, other things you could find in here is the icons also correlate to the latest version of iOS 26, which means the on and off switch is more of an oval shape than ever before. And then if we exit out of here, a new feature that was added can be located in the accessibility. We always had color filters from the previous OS if you're colorblind, you could adjust it between grayscale, green, red filter, all personal preference. It's a nice little tool, especially since not all automakers have this ability on your infotainment screen. But in text size, now it actually gives you the exact percentage of each text size you're selecting. Now, when I previously tested it, yep, it still does that. It like cramps it all in there. Hopefully by the time the official version is released, that should be resolved because that doesn't look very apple to me. But nonetheless, a good tool to have for those that need it. You can also still bolt in the text as well. Exiting down 
out of that and going down to physical and motor so you could actually voice control carplay now it actually gives you a little brief description on how to do that previously you had to find out or if you know you know type of thing but now it actually tells you how to navigate with just your voice so to give you a quick example we are going to go ahead and enable this i'm going to go ahead and as uh, soon as this turns blue let the microphone know that we are ready open music and it immediately just does it like so and then anything you see on the screen just say tap and it will tap on it so if i say tap radio it just does that just like that it's pretty quick and uh responsive too i'm actually very surprised but we don't need that i'm gonna go ahead and disable that so getting out of here another accessibility feature that i like to go ahead and cover can be located in the sound recognition and sound recognition by enabling this previously we only had car horn and siren so if there was sirens nearby you have your music pretty loud maybe you don't hear it your car play will confirm and let you know that yeah that was sirens you're hearing it's a nice little backup in case you're being distracted but notice how now we have baby crying so you can enable this and if you have kids in the back maybe you're a hard time of hearing your car play unit will notify you letting you know that your baby is crying so you give it attention that it needs nice little safety feature over there but let's exit out of here and go down into Apple Intelligence. This allows you to enable, if your phone supports it, the Apple Intelligence. So basically this little ring right here. There we go, that little animation. We should be familiar with it by now. But all the settings here are default settings we've seen in the past, such as automatically send a message when you reply, it'll automatically send it instead of you manually have to tap on the screen. And a show apps behind Siri if you don't want the background to be blurry. I go in greater detail in uh, that corner video over there if you like to find out more. So in silent mode, turn on silent mode, turn off silent mode, nothing has changed here. But what I do like to show you is the new notifications. Whenever you get an incoming call, the notification doesn't take up the entire screen like it used to. That's really nifty. In addition to that, whenever you're replying to text messages, you can now reply with an impression like a like, a heart, and etc. like we can do on our phones. You now have that ability. And real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds and hit that like button and like, that would be truly appreciated because that strongly supports the channel to continue to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a sponsorship taking like a minute or two off your time. I really appreciate those that continue to support the channel by just simply leaving a like. It really does mean a lot. So thank you so much. Let's carry on. Other apps I got to retweak is the music app. The music app looks more like the traditional Apple music app on your iPhone because now you have a cleaner layer out for all your like recently played libraries as you could go pretty far down like you would on an iphone you also have access to a new tab right here your radio as well as your playlists artist songs and all your recently downloads that's pretty cool but you're now playing it's basically the same just featuring a new like liquid glass design that apple's using on their like tile controls as you see right here but in terms of that's an epic song by the way share playability you still have access to the qr code if you like to have your passengers be the dj for the road trip they could do that you can also enable discoverable by nearby contacts also something i failed to mention is apple music will actually slowly transition from a previous track to the next track like a dj basically it'll do like a smooth transition then exiting out of here another new change is the message app it has this clear layout all your favorites are on top the ones you pin as well as the ability to write a new message you have that ability podcast app hasn't really changed uh, receive a significant upgrade maybe in the near future but you do have like new and library up here nothing crazy out of the ordinary same goes for audiobooks hasn't really received like a massive overhaul like the apple music app did news similar story as well nothing really changed here and your calendar is just going to be featuring the today's calendar as well as a list of events you may have and if you're wondering why the phone is uh, highlighted it's because this car features hand-free touchscreen controls on the steering wheel then other unique ui changes can be located whenever you bring up a scoreboard so i'm going to go ahead and see if i bring up the latest hockey score what was the latest hockey score of the king's game the kings lost the series four games okay i'm actually trying to like bring up a winning score but every time when i bring them up they lose 
that's my team but it does feature the liquid uh glass that apple is talking about so that got tweaked as well but other than that there you guys have it this is definitely a nice appreciated overhaul from apple not a massive improvement but the fact that they gave us widgets i think it's uh it's a nice update but my biggest request is still the ability to watch youtube videos from apple carplay i think that would be really cool definitely bring older cars into a modern era because newer vehicles nowadays now allow us to actually stream videos off our head units. Modern day vehicles like Rivian, Teslas, even Mercedes. So long as the vehicle is in park, you can stream YouTube directly off your head unit. And when you're waiting for somebody in a parking lot, it's a nice source of entertainment. Anyways, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this updated videos on the latest version of CarPlay on a larger screen vehicle. If you wish to watch more, maybe you missed my previous video where I cover everything new on TV OS for those who own an Apple TV. I cover that in this video over there. Thank you so much for watching.